Hey, brother! Hey! Hey! Are you guys ready to answer some questions? I have a Game Boy. Totally psyched! If you could live in any fictional world, which would you choose and why? Um, I would choose Harry Potter. Uh, well, not we, fictional, we just haven't gotten our letters yet. I'm, hol I'm holding on to that. What? We just haven't gotten our letters, man. That's we, true. We need to get a house with a fireplace, though, because <laughs> isn't that where they're supposed to, like, shoot out Shoot out! Yeah. Well, they come through the mail slot <laughs> in the first one, too. Well, the mail slot. Yeah, we don't, we don't, have, have, somebody, we don't, we don't have, have, have mail slots. Slot. Crap, you're right. Okay, so we, we need should, a chimney. Yeah, a glass we need to be sure that we have slot. one or the other, though. I mean, right. How much of a problem would it be if it got left on our doorstep and then just, like, blew off? Ugh. I, I mean, with Harry, they sent a lot. I feel like they're trying to get Yeah, they true. really wanted to. Yeah. Well, mine would have to be the world of Walking Dead. Because, for some reason, and I make this argument on like a regular day-to-day -day basis, I kind of feel like it would almost be more fun to live in a world where like that bottom level of the hierarchy of needs is like everything that you're living for. Yeah. You'd like food, water, Jeff shelter. Around. Also, I'm not even sure that's not... Just hasn't just happened yet just either. Hasn't happened yet. Yeah. So uh, none of this stuff is fictional. That's all fictional. Just, We're just yeah. waiting. There you go. Putting a hold on it. I, I would move to the Kanto region and <coughs> I would train the Pokemon and be the very best. It's a reference I don't get. What do you mean you don't get? It's from the red and blue version. Uh, you that's the type of argument we have as kids, by the way. <laughs> Nina L two thousand three who asked. It was usually something where any two of us would agree on something and then just argue guns blazing against the other. What do you want for Christmas? Do you think you'll get it? Ooh. Uh, I want more Twitter followers. <laughs> um, I want that, uh, the jacket Bane is wearing in Batman. You know when that would come in awesome. handy? What would that wear? The zombie apocalypse. Absolutely! It's like zombie repellent. How can you not be, like, a total winner and leader with that jacket on in the zombie apocalypse? We would have it it's a guarantee. It's if a guarantee. You have the jacket, you win. Here's a great question Bang from most. Cook Me Twenty Five. Is it hard to be the best looking brother? Yes. Yeah, yes. it comes yeah. naturally to me. <laughs> it's also tough being the smartest, but it's whatever. What would you know about that? <laughs> no, You're more playing like... a Game Boy right now <laughs> during the video. <laughs> Yeah, and Fletch, I'm good level 21, so... Come yeah, here, this is the worst part of the holidays. Is <laughs> these two don't put their Game Boys down the whole time. More like Ben doesn't pick his up. Alright, how about Agent Zetas? Will Tyler ever be added to the channel on a permanent basis? Um... Uh... uh ben, are you ever going to contribute to Super Carlin Gaming? They were ever to make Diablo 3, essentially Diablo 2, but with better graphics and longer, then you would see a lot of me, like, making a mission to trade for a certain item, because <laughs> that was always, like, that was, like, what I did when I played Diablo. It's like, it was Diab like Diablo Economics with Ben. Right, exactly. I could, have written, I could have written a book on, like, the economic value of an SOJ. Son of Jordan. Son of Jordan. Son of the Ring. What book do you hope they never turn into a movie? Captain Underpants. God. Starring Brian Cranston <laughs> as Captain Underpants. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like the only person I can even imagine being <laughs> Captain I Underpants. Mean, he kinda, he's like remarkably in his underpants a lot in Breaking Bad. He I is, know. Yeah, is, but it's not a good look. It's not, but like when they yeah. did the casting for that show, I feel like they made them wear whitey tighties. Probably. Because it was, <laughs> it was it. way too prominent for that to have not been like an essential detail. Is there anything about the future that scars you? The game suggested <laughs> things that we could be worried about, <laughs> such as hovercrafts, robots, aliens, global warming, or anything. I'm not sure how I feel about a zombie slash robot apocalypse. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm a little bit less excited. When it comes that. to apocalypses, <laughs> apocalypse, <laughs> apocalypse, I, something. I prefer it to be zombies specifically. But like, supposing that like our answer to the zombie apocalypse is robots, and then we win with that, and then we have to fight them. Oh, Thank you guys for watching and joining us on uh, Thanksgiving. Let us know what you're thankful for down in the comments. We are all definitely thankful for you guys. I think we just hit 2,800 subscribers this week, which is like, it's like blowing up. I don't know. Ah. This is all my doing. Crazy. Yeah, it's not at all Tyler's. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see you then. See you in the Holy Brothers.